RSG was formed in 2005 when I originally started in this business in 1995. I was able to work with some of the larger companies in the United States and really felt that the way that those plans were operated was at a very consultative, independent, no conflict of interest approach. People really weren't pushing product. They were really trying to figure out what the plan sponsor needed. When I moved down to the small to mid-sized market, it was much more product driven. It was much more what somebody was trying to sell. And we believed that that consulting business model was gonna come down to that small to mid-sized market. We wanted to be one of the first folks to really have that focus. So RSG has three offices, Chicagoland, Northern New England and Portsmouth, New Hampshire, and in West Palm Beach, Florida. So when we talk about our local areas where we want to be a dominant pension consulting firm, those are our three core markets. But you know, truthfully, we have clients in 23 different states. And because our business is almost 100% referral based, we really go to wherever we get referred in and there's a need. We have a major problem in this country when it comes to how people are saving and how people are utilizing these plans. We can add value in that in a couple of different ways, whether it's through basic plan administration, to complex plan design, to even audit support, and sometimes even expanding that to what we call 316 co-fiduciary services, where we really take over for the plan sponsor and become the administrator to that plan. And other times, it's really being the quarterback of the overall plan and the consultant who's really helping to facilitate the trustee meetings, investment education, as well as administration, general compliance, and really bringing that together into one unified strategy that meets up with what the company goals and objectives are. So we're less a laundry list of this is what we're going to bring to you, and instead really trying to sit down in every relationship and say, here's all the things we can do, what do you need? And let's figure out if there's a fit. Ultimately, at the end of the day, what I want is I want to work hard, play hard culture. We, we know we need to work hard, we know we need to get the work right, we think we're technical acumen is one of our strengths, but to that point, we try and bring some lightheartedness to the team and make it a place that people want to work.